Hello YouTubers, I am Black Pluribus, your host, and I am here with an episode of Stepping Stones. If you followed me on my primary channel, Black Pluribus, you, that s serves um, Let's Play and stuff like that, you will have noticed that I m have already started a section called Stepping Stones, where I covered UU and, uh, was it RU or NU? I think it's RU Battles and uh, Random Generator. Uh, random generated battles uh, that were supported by Pokemon Showdown. Because this is going to play a little bit differently, just because it is Battle Spot, I decided to change up the rules a little bit for this. Now, with Battle Spot, what I am going to be doing is I am going to go from. I've never actually played Battle Spot, so b bear with me with that. Uh, I am going to be playing Battle Spot, ranked battles, and trying to see how well I match up against people, learn Battle Spot, and just try to get into the Pokemon competitive play. So you guys will be, uh, you guys will be with me the entire time. You guys will see kind of, I'm not going to try to edit these videos too much, I want it to be kind of raw for you guys. I won't skip battles, I won't do anything like that, so you guys will see all my losses, all my victories, and everything in between. Now, I'm going to start the battle here, and we're going to do rated battles, so I have to connect here, and you prove automatic, uh, no, I don't want to automatically save videos to my thing, so Again, I have never played Battle Spot. I don't know the rules for it. I have a competitive team, which I've just used for my friends. If you guys have seen the last two videos I posted on YouTube, I wasn't technically starting my channel at that point. I was just testing to make sure my capture card worked and everything like that. So what I want to do is I want to do singles and do you want to register the system? Yes, I want to. Alright, so my team is going to be on the left. I The people on the right are Pokemon that I'm currently training. Ignore those. Uh, the Battle Box on the left, however, has my Galvantula, Miss Magus, uh, Scizor, uh, Crodent, Ta uh, Tal Ta Talonflame, and Starmie. Um, I just threw Talonflame in there because why not? I don't think of me as being too cheap. I'm, I don't really have that many Pokemon. I've bred a lot, but a lot of my Pokemon are weak little bugs that are not going to help at all, like Butterfree and Beedrill. I was just randomly breeding. I didn't I didn't think I was going to get one of these uh, capture cards for a long time, honestly. So, let's see. My opponent has... Gardevoir, Venusaur... Uh, what weakness do I notice most? Very... Very, so a steel type would come in handy. So I'm gonna pack Galvantula, Scizor, and too many fairies for me to want to go into a dark type, and too many water to want me to bring Talonflame. So I'm gonna bring Miss Magus to my wall. All right, so. Let's see what we start with. Each team is going. Uh, I had to pick three Pokemon. <laughs> Do know that much. I just don't know the rest of it. Uh, all right. So, Galvantula is going head to head with Gardevoir. I sent out Galvantula strictly because I wanted to be able to set up the sticky webs. I wonder if this is going to be a Mega Gardevoir. If so, I don't know how to counter that. Never fought a Mega Gardevoir, so this will be interesting. Marcus from Germany. 
So it looks like he's only done a couple battles himself. How many egg hatches does he have? Oh, good. His team only has 34 egg hatches. So that means... He could very well... Not have competitively bred Pokemon. Either that or he's auto genic his Pokemon, which is still in it. The Psychic. That did a lot of damage. Um, I'm gonna hit it with... Buzz Buzz. Bug Buzz, because I don't really need to keep this thing alive after setting up a sticky web. We're gonna take another Psychic to the face and die. Now, I want to go straight out into my Scizor. And I am going to predict him to switch and I'm going to Mega Evolve and Sword Stance. Okay, so Mega Form. Oh, they're going to stand, okay. I don't think that's going to do a whole heck of a lot to me at all. And I'm going to get the first sword stance up. Sharply raise my attack some more. And then I'm going to set up one more sword stance because they did nothing to me last time. And it looks like they're thinking about switching because they're taking their time thinking now. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a free sword stance set up. And... That'll put me at plus four, and then I should start being able to hitting them with some bullet punches and taking them out. Oh no, here comes another psychic. For sake of keeping uh, this thing alive, I'm gonna set up with one roost and then I'm gonna go for the bullet punch. Go for that roost. And hit me with the psychic. Now I'm gonna get greedy. I, I really am. This thing can't hurt me, so why not set up perfectly and get plus six? There's no reason for me not to take this opportunity to get greedy. Because if I don't and I just attack and um, not set up to my full advantage, I could die. And then I lost this battle for no reason whatsoever. So I am definitely going to roost up again. And then now I am ready. Plus six swords dance. Thanks to swords dance. And this person staying in. And I am going to bullet punch this thing into a blue beam. Alright, so there went Gardevoir. Whatever they're going to send in is going to get the sticky webs. To slow them down. Alright, so... Let's see if this thing has sturdy. The ice typing is not going to like that bolt punch, but they do have the focus sash. And they're going to hit me with Rock Blast. I don't think that's going to do anything to me. I am defensive and also I'm Steel type, so nice try. My plus six is going to hit you pretty hard. And the Scissor Sweep is real. I love Caesar. I like. I, I didn't really care for him that much until he got the Mega Stage, and now I'm just in love with Caesar. Or Caesar, not Caesar. Caesar. I should name him Caesar. Caesar the Caesar. All right, let's bullet punch this thing. I think it'll do neutral damage, but it's better than the Bug attack. Plus six incoming, and that is a dead 
Mega Marowak. I can't say Pokemon's names. I'm just yeah. Just bear with me. So that's two zero. Victory as ours. So happy. First victory. First battle spot. First victory. Would you like to save this video? No. That's okay. <laughs> Continue battling. Yes. And now I'll be doing three battles a day. So we want to use our battle box, not our other box. Alright. First victory. I'm happy. I am so happy right now. You have no idea. I'm sure I won't be able to keep this victory all the time, but... We'll run into somebody who's good. Uh, here's a good team. Uh, let's see, they have two fire types, a steel. Hmm. They have flying. Uh, let's see. We need a water type with us. I'm gonna send out. Oh, but if that's a. They're primarily. I don't know what to do. Send out Miss Magus, but that. No. You know what, Galvantula is coming back out. I'm gonna bring Crawdent and Miss Magus. I have to. I mean, I could bring Talonflame, <laughs> but I don't really want to. Uh, I want to bring the Galvantula because I really am worried about uh, the Talonflame and the the Charizard. If that's a Charizard Y, that's going to set up uh, weather effects. So I, I wonder if they're running double weather. I mean, double weather scares me. They could even be running triple weather if they have rain dance. So I don't know why they would do that. I'm pretty sure they have the sunny day though. And it looks like if they wanted to, they could use the Tranitar and uh, what is that steel thing called? The the Ferrothorn? I uh, that could be a good sand team. I don't know. It looks like he's using up all his time, so I wonder what they're gonna make him bring if he didn't select anything. He did select stuff, or if it's randomly put together, we'll find out. Communication with the server was interrupted. What's that mean? Does that mean he left or something? Shiny Tranitar? What happened? You gotta be kidding me. I've been having internet issues all day long and so that counts as a loss. Rated battles. No. This is horrible. I may edit out whenever I have to reconnect to the internet. I not decided yet. Alright, battle box. I don't fear him. I, I got DC'd. Oh, I thought it said it'd count as losses. Maybe he disconnected. I don't know. I disconnected. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it didn't count as anything for some reason. Alright, um... Let's see, this guy has a... Mega Scizor. 
Volcarona, Mr. Annoying, Ever Ninja, let's see, Evergreen Ninja, I don't bring it for anything though. Um, most of his team fears Talonflame. Let's start off with Galvantula. No, I'm not. Let's start off with Scizor. No. Darn it. I, I'm worried about the Volcarona lead, but I shouldn't be. I don't think Volcarona will lead if he picks it. Um, I'm going... Not with two water types. I don't think he'll pick the Volcarona. Uh, um... What does he fear? He fears Talonflame. Can I send out Galvantula? That might be obvious, but I'll send it out anyway. Then I'll bring Talonflame, because that looks like it can deal some damage to a good chunk of his team. And I'll bring Crodent. Crodent can put on put out some work. <laughs> it really can. Grr. Alright. Alright, so hopefully we can deal some pretty good damage to this team. Gerard? We're sending up Sableye. That's not bad for us. It's probably a prankster, so I bet you he has a taunt. Um Let's see. I can either go for the sticky web, but if he has the taunt, then that's gonna put me in a rather bad situation. Um, it's either I attack or I, I, or I use bug buzz. You know, I'm gonna say he doesn't have the taunt, and I'm gonna go for sticky webs. He has the taunt. Yeah, okay, so unfortunately that's bad for us because I predicted it and then I didn't go for it. But I saw he had 11 eggs and that's kind of what I was waiting for, to see how many eggs he's done. To see if he'd be able to outspeed me with Prankster. Alright, so he is going to bring out the vocal of Rono, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna hit this thing with a thunder. Come on, get that- Yes, I got the paralysis. Please. Okay, he's getting quiver dance. Raise your defenses. I don't care. We're gonna hit you with another thunder. Your speed is meaningless. Oh yes, yes, good! Paralyzation hacks! I love it whenever I get paralysis hacks on my side. Uh, let's just fi finish this thing off with the bug buzz. So if he wants to switch out, I doubt it, but... Alright, so we got the bug buzz off. Killing Volcarona. So that puts me in a happy place. Alright, Sableye's gonna come back out. It's probably gonna immediately go for the taunt, but I think it's too late to go for sticky webs anyway. We're gonna go for the bug webs. Oh yeah, that's not going to work twice. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me, uh, fool me once, shame on me. I had the whatever. Forget it. I'm not gonna use dumb little things that I can't even remember. We're gonna go for another bug buzz and hopefully kill this thing. So it definitely has the prankster ability. And we are gonna hope we can fight through this confusion. Come on please. Of course not. Of course not! Why would we be able to make it through confusion? That would be too nice. And Oh, he, good thing he has the willow list. I was afraid that he would carry the, the paralysis. Confusory combination. 
That way, I would definitely be screwed over seven ways to Sunday. Um, come on. Wonder if he'll taunt me again. Yeah, he's gonna taunt me again. Predicting that I'm gonna try to go for sticky webs, but that's not what I have in mind. Alright, good. We got the bug buzz off. Hopefully that'll be able to do enough. Yes, okay, good. So Sable Eye is dead. Galvantula putting on some work this time. Galvantula really can put on some good work. And now I know why he didn't switch into Greninja. Let's go for the Thunder. I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. Turning himself into the Ice type so he is protein. He's got a lot of hidden abilities for being a person who's only bred 11 eggs. Uh, let's see. He's gonna use Ice type. I am gonna go into Sprouting. And we are gonna go for the knockoff. He does carry the grass, the grass knot, unfortunately. But honestly, I wanted him to kill Sprouting. Here's why. I brought the Talon Flame. He may be doing a victory dance now, but I wanted him to get out of the ice. That way I can now hit him with a Brave Bird that is stab priority and is now his weakness. So enjoy the Brave Bird. You ain't living it. So, a victory to us. That's 2 0 today so far. I'm gonna try to go for one more. Then I need to get cooking in the kitchen. Make some dinner. Um, let's see here. Last. Okay. Why do I need to save these battles? I mean, I already have them saved on YouTube now, right? So why bother saving them on Battle Spot? Or battle, whatever that thing is. So I, I do have a loss. I'm not going to actually count that one because it was internet <laughs> related. Alright, so we have somebody from Japan, Osoka. Let's see, he has a very annoying team just looking at that Mega King of Um. I'm gonna predict the Mega King of Scone lead. bring my A team here. <laughs> I do not like Mega King of Scone. I think it's really, really cheap. But, you know, you have to... I have to live with it. So yeah, I predicted they'd send out the Mega King of Scon. Which is why I sent out Miss Magus. Uh, and then I am going to go for the wonderful Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, oh. He's scrappy. Let's go for the Calm Mind. It's gonna withdraw. I'll 
try to edit out the sound at that point whenever my dog went berserk. So I don't want headphone users to die. Um, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball. Now that I have a calm mind set up, should do some damage to this thing. Got it about halfway, which is pretty good for my support type, but why are you willow wisping? I have a feeling I'm gonna lose this one. Uh, we're gonna hit him with another Shadow Ball. He'll probably, yeah, withdraw into King of Stun. Predicting the Shadow Ball. I'm gonna predict another Fake Out coming, and I'm going to switch into Scissor. So yep, there it is, Mega King, uh, the uh, King of Gun, and it, it's really unfortunate they have to use that. I really hate Mega Gun, King of Gun. Oh, he's gonna withdraw, he's gonna go right back out into that Rotom Watch. And he wants to burn me, because if he burns me, then this thing becomes Pretty useless. Which is rather unfortunate for me because I don't have anything I want to switch out into. Wait, that's not true. I can switch out into Talon Plant. But that means I had to waste my sword stance. I am gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp of my- Oh no, I should've- I was predicting him to switch back out and make a King of Skull. He's gonna go for Hydro Pump or Thunder Pump. That was stupid of me. Good thing this thing is defensive. And then I am going to Brave Bird this thing. Which did nothing. <laughs> Alright, here's the Hydro Pump. Darn it. I hate Rotomoir. Their whole team is annoying. It's all mean meta crap. Uh, let's go back out into... This nice. Yeah, that's a good one. We can set up a calm mind. Cause he's gonna withdraw, go out into Kangaskhan. Set up the calm mind. Incoming fake out. Wow, this set has a lot of link battle. No wonder he's doing so well. I'm going to go out and scissor, predicting the fake out. He's going to withdraw. Smart! I don't think I can... 
Beat him, so I'm gonna switch out again. He's gonna both switch. So that's fine. Um, I do have the levitate, so hopefully that helps. I'm gonna use pain split. I'm gonna use U turn. Are you going out into Rotom? Are you going out into King of Scum? Please go out into King of Scum. King of Scum. Please be King of Scum. Good, it's King is gone. Now I can pain split this thing. I'm gonna predict him to actually switch out this time. And I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball. Oh, he went for the fake out. Huh. The pain split again. But I am predicting he's gonna use something even nastier now. So I'm gonna go out on the scissor. Withdraw. Goes back out to Rotom. I'm gonna bullet punch. At least I'll be able to prevent a. Oh crap! Alright, so he lived. It's unfortunate for me. Coming back out. He's gonna hit me with Earthquake. I'm gonna Swords Dance. So I knew I could take at least one Earthquake. And I'm gonna go for the Bullet Punch. Nope, I'm dead. Yep, this is over. I was hope I, I forgot that uh Lander is grounded. I don't use legendaries, so I don't really ever see them being used. I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball, he's gonna withdraw, go out and King is gone, no doubt. Oh no, he's gonna go out and erode him. At least I'll be able to prevent a 3-0 by attacking this thing. I might have been able to win if I switched out instead of letting Caesar take that blow. But... They had to be done. Scizor had to take that blow. Alright, he's gonna hit me with the rock slide, and this will probably end right here. Yep, it did. Alright, so that was my battles today. I technically got 2-2, two -two, but with the disconnect, I'm not counting that. So I got 2 out of my 3 battles as victories today. This guy really had a good team, so... Good for him. Hopefully my battles will get better. Probably edit out the little bit at the end uh, where I got disconnected. But anyway, 
I'll see you guys in the next video, and thank you so much, and we'll see you guys on the next Stepping Stones. Bye!